Welcome all to my new series where I talk into a mic and have game footage in the background. Well, Funk, you sure are original. What will this new series name be? I'm glad I asked myself that. It's called Funk's Philosophy. <coughs> Loser. It's basically where I talk about a certain topic for a certain amount of time, blah, 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 blah. So let's just start, like, I guess. Sort it down. In Team Fortress 2, the sniper can be considered a very skillful class. As you can take it from me, I'm garbage at sniper, and I really can't grasp how people do these insane picks on my team every game. The hell was that? Back it out. That fire ruined my shot. That sucks. Let's go. Let's go. Am I so they have a fat scout pushing mid. They used on point. Don't be sandwiched. Holy shit. The one thing I hear every once in a while is a sniper complain about second scoping and body shots. I'll be focusing on the topic of second scoping as I feel people already complain enough about body shots, including me. <laughs> the basic definition of second scoping is having a staring contest and walking around at the same time. You accomplish absolutely nothing and just miss out on opportunities where you can either pick the enemy sniper in front of you or another enemy completely. Two snipers dancing in the middle of a f <laughs> Two snipers dancing at each other from across the map does absolutely nothing for you or your team. One of you just has to take a shot and hope it hits. Second scoping is a quote unquote mechanical outplay. It sounds smart on paper, but if they first scope and you die, you look stupid. Why would you not kill the sniper man, you idiot? Just first scope, Nimrod. When I first joined a sniping server with my buddy Hash, this was one of the first people to use the mic, and they did not like when they got second scope. Stop second scoping, you fucking cunt! <laughs> If a casual sniper can get that heated over second scoping, I had to get some sniper main opinions on the matter. So I just asked Hash. What's your opinion on second scoping? Gay. Gay? Okay. What's your opinion on gay people? Gay. Okay, so Hash thinks second scoping is gay and that gay people are also gay. Remember. Hash supports gay people, so don't cyber bully him, please. Here's the proof. Hash. Yes. Do you support gay people? Affirmative. He added a, uh. He added a festive revolver. So, well, I don't care what he added, I will beat you. And a reclaimed. <laughs> Enough with the sniper main. Let's get with the funk. Second scoping is aggravating playing against it and actually doing it. When you die to a second scoper, you're probably like, Oh, this guy can't outsnipe me, but the fact that he killed you negates that idea completely and makes you even more pissed off than you already were. If you miss a shot on this guy, you messed up, but when you get killed by him, when he second scopes, you still messed up because you gave him the advantage to second scope you. No matter what they did, it made you die, and that's the goal of this game, to make you die and to get the objective. When you actually second scope someone, you probably don't even notice. You're just in the moment and you're like, I killed the enemy sniper, heard there. That's all that matters to you, and you can deny the fact that you didn't second scope, but deep down you know what you did and you are a dirty second scoper. Kind of. I say kind of because second scoping can lead to a win in a game, and winning is the point of most TF2 games. Now, I say most TF2 games because some games will not allow you to play the objective. <coughs> Hard power. <coughs> but that's for another day. So yeah, second scoping can be annoying at times, but everyone does it once in their life. It's a pain, but also a strategy. And despite what happens, one of the snipers will die. But hey, that's just my philosophy. <laughs> that is so dumb. That's just my philosophy. A game philosophy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the ending of game theory, dude.
All right, so now it's up to you to tell me what I should talk about. I need to know. You gotta put something in the comments and say, I hate flag pyros, blah, blah, blah. And hey, maybe I'll talk about it. I probably will because I'm, you know, I don't, I don't have any other ideas than the high tower thing I just mentioned. So yeah, tell me. What, what do I philosophize about? I don't even know if that's a real word. If it is, then great. I use it, use it a bigger word. That, that's it. Bye.